Hi, my name is Jeannie and this is Jeannie Goes to the Movies. Uh, in the next uh, few episodes, I will be recommending movies that will, that has a certain theme about, um, you know, end of days and humanity struggling against an enemy or just uh, it's about humanity versus nature. So, one of the films that I'm going to be recommending is Pandorum, which came out in 2009, and it's a science fiction film, and it is, for me, a cult classic. It has been overlooked, and um, it's really good. It really is, and not many people have seen it, and hopefully people, a lot of people, will see it. So, especially uh, after this uh, video or review, you guys will see it. So before I proceed, I know it's very scary right now. You know, we live in scary times, but I really truly believe in the power of movies. Uh, the power of movies bringing people together and the power of movies to entertain and the power of movies to really make you feel good about, you know, about life. So even if the uh, topic of Pandorum is kind of heavy, uh, you just got to watch it because in the end of the movie is really the highlight. It's really good. It really is. So it came out in 2019, Pandorum. Uh, Pandorum stars Dennis Quaid, Ben Foster, and a um, German actress. And I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce her name, so I'll try my best. It's... Uh, Ante Traui or Trau. So she's a German actress and she appeared in one of General Zod's. Uh, she was in one of General Zod's soldier. She was the female one in Man of Steel. She was really good in that one and she is good in this one. And probably the reason why she got that role because she was just, she's badass in this film. She's like Ripley from Aliens. So the plot of Pandorum is that sometime in the future, the planet Earth is gone and there's only 60,000 humans left and they're trapped in a ship called Elysium and their their goal, the humanity's goal, is to colonize the planet uh, and it's called Tanis and it is 123 years away from planet Earth. So the goal of the uh, colonists is of course to make it to planet Tannis because they're the last hope. They're literally, they literally are the last hope. And uh, it's now up to the uh, the colony and especially the crew. It's up to the crew to really make sure that this mission is fulfilled. So we, uh, it starts with two crew members named uh, Bauer and Peyton. Peyton is the lieutenant and Bauer is the corporal. And they wake up at around the same time to discover that there's something wrong with the ship. It's not moving. And they soon discover though that there are creatures in, in the film and it's really scary. Those creatures are mutant cannibals. And there is a twist as to where these cannibal mutants come from. So you will soon find out when you watch the film. So anyway, I forgot to introduce my co-host. So that is Bacon. So he's co-hosting right now. He's very comfy as you can see. And I hope uh, to all the dog lovers out there and the pet owners, um, you will take care of your pets. See, especially in these times. So he seems really comfy. So he's not going to say anything right now. Anyway, so it is up to... Uh, so Peyton stays in the... Uh, in like uh, the main console. So he's the one that's like uh, ordering Bauer to explore and determine what is going on with the ship. And there through Bauer, uh, Bauer's exploration... He discovers that, you know, the monsters, and he encounters a woman named Nadia, who is badass and who saves his life. She's really badass. She's like Ripley, and she's really good. 
I really like her. She's the highlight, one of the highlights in this film. Aside from the monsters, of course, they're really scary. And um, yeah, there's a twist ending and you should watch this film to find out what the twist ending is. And it's not, it's a really, it has a really good ending. And what I like about this film is that it is science fiction. I love science fiction. I really love it. And it is set in deep space and I like that too. And it's also a horror and a thriller and an action movie. And it's it's really, you're going to be at the edge of your seat. It's really scary, scary. So I really strongly recommend that you watch this film. And, uh, oh yeah, so the word Pandorum is actually coming from, it's a disease. It's sort of that has afflicted some of the colony members. So Pandorum is sort of like a paranoia, but it's extreme deep space paranoia that turns people, the colonists, or some colonists insane. So there's going to be a twist and you just got to watch the film. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this movie review and I really do hope that you will check this movie out. It's called Pandorum and um, you can stream it. I'm sure it's available. I think it was on Amazon, I think, and you can rent it. And hopefully you and your family will stay safe and I'll be recommending more films that's good to watch in this, in light of what's going on in the world. Stay safe and enjoy movies and after all of this is done, all of this um, scary thing is done, I hope that you guys will eventually when it's safe go out and really, really support your local cinemas and we want to bring movies back, you know, in movie theaters, you know, we, we want them, we need to support them after all of this is done. It may take a couple months, who knows, maybe several months, but yes, please do um, as soon as all of this is over. Stay safe and enjoy movies no matter where you are right now. Thank you. Goodbye.